Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month right out of the gate. We remain in a period between eclipses and it will culminate with the third and final lunar eclipse as part of this larger season that began last month. And it is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. What I love about this lunar eclipse is that it is speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus, which suggests that things move quickly. They change quickly now in a way that feels fortunate for each of us. This part of the sky speaks to work and the workplace and the people you interact with as part of your work. And it also speaks to how well you are taking care of yourself, your health related habits and health related news all around. I do think that it is this lunar eclipse that may very well bring a matter to fruition in a way that is pleasing to you. If you are one of the Leos out there who has felt that there's been an ongoing health related matter, it is this lunar eclipse that can help you to feel like very quickly it is behind you. Good health related news may find you at this time. But this is also a part of the sky related to work related opportunities. This is energy that has to do with day job, if you will. And Uranus right now is moving through the very top of your sky, slowly but surely transforming and bringing big opportunities where it comes to career and life purpose. With Uranus speaking in supreme harmony with this lunar eclipse, very quickly there may be work related opportunities that feel like they align you with a higher, more loving vision for your life, or at the very least, align you with big opportunities in a way that you love very much. This type of Uranian connection speaks to luck and the lunar eclipse speaks to closures. Uranus speaks to new beginnings and lunar eclipses bring karmic endings. And so with an ending comes bright possibilities for starting something fresh and new. As we navigate later into the month, it will be right around the 20th that we will have this month's new moon. What makes this new moon special is that it is taking place in the same part of the sky that we had last month's solar eclipse. That solar eclipse happened at the very beginning of its respective sign. Now this new moon is happening towards the end of its respective sign and that speaks to a full culmination being part and parcel with this brand new energy, this brand new beginning. We've also got Saturn standing across the sky with precision from the new moon this month as well, which brings with it an overall serious tone, a realistic tone, but can encourage us to focus on what we are actually manifesting. Now this energy is taking place in the sign just before yours. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with what otherwise would be unknown or elusive. It has to do with what is happening behind the scenes. And new moons in this part of the sky tend to bring with them a reveal, if you will. Now, sometimes that revealing is spiritual. What's happening in the dream space, for example, those symbols become strong and we're able to understand our own unconscious motivations more clearly as part of choosing our direction more consciously. However, this can also be us becoming aware of what we did not know before in a way that leaves us with questions as may be the case now related to another person. Now this may be connected to a person that you are connected with in relation to the work that you do, a client, a customer, a coworker, or immediate supervisor. And there may be some mixed feelings on your part at this time around that. It may be that as a result of a karmic closure happening at this time related to one of these people, you are having to take on more responsibility and that may bring with it mixed feelings as well. Now, regardless, this is an area of the sky that is ultimately cleansing. It is about creating space for the new and the next to find you, which is right around the corner. Next month, there will be a new moon in your sign and that is gonna allow you to feel like a brand new chapter truly has begun. But for now, this is about spiritually, energetically creating the space so the new and the next can enter. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be towards the end of this month that 
Venus will leave shadow. But just before Venus leaves shadow, she will connect with Neptune. Now, if you have been watching month to month and certainly in the superstar space week to week, you know that I have been talking about this ongoing dance between Venus and Neptune, defining this larger Venus retrograde season. Venus went direct last month, but as she remains in shadow, a lot of those Venus retrograde season lessons are going to feel like they are finding a new clarity. Towards the end of this month, where there has been uncertainty, where there has been disappointment, it may feel like it comes to the surface, but you're seeing it differently now as part of understanding what stays and what goes and as part of understanding where you're ready to make a decision or you're ready to find a deeper acceptance. Now, I would also add whatever is happening towards the end of the month in the context of love may very well speak to what was happening for you back in the middle of May. It will help you to see the events of that time differently and that may very well be part of what helps you to know what stays, what goes and how it is that you want to move forward from here. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, this can be a very karmic time, a time when there are important interactions with others, but they seem to evoke something deeper for you now. As we navigate towards the end of the month, though, love and friendship seem to intertwine. Whether it is that a friend is uh, expressing feelings for you, whether it is you're finally getting clear about what you actually feel for a friend, all of it may come to the surface. All as part of making a decision, making a choice as to what it is where it comes to love and whom it is that you want to carry forward from here. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, given the very powerful energy of closure as we navigate late into the month thanks to that new moon, I do feel like this is going to be a turning point for a lot of Leos out there. This is where you will either decide that this is a person you want to get to know much more deeply and you will create closure with other options, or it is the case that you will realize that maybe this isn't the person for you. Regardless of what you choose, next month is very powerful in the context of love. You are going to have a new moon in your sign and a full moon in your opposite sign as well, which tends to bring with it someone so that you can understand your larger lessons in love and attraction. Also where it is that there have been questions or uncertainty or disappointment, all of that may come to the surface as we navigate late into the month, but it's almost like a necessary moment of uncertainty which gives way to honesty. From there, you'll know where you stand and whether or not you are moving forward with this person. And for those of you in an established bond, I do feel like there may be something that the two of you are either working on or addressing. It isn't necessarily something you feel like you can share with the wider world or ready to discuss with others. I would also add that if it is that you do go to a friend for advice at this time, their advice could really miss important nuances of the situation. It is that much more important for you to sit with what it is that you feel. Your own intuition and your own instincts may be especially strong, but you may need some time to understand what you're feeling in the context of your established bond. But for all that, this can also be a time when you are feeling a genuine sense of growing camaraderie and understanding on a level of friendship with your partner. And that can only make the two of you feel that much closer together. What I love about this month for you, I am going to say that lunar eclipse in the early part of the month, I think it is such a hopeful energy because it is an energy that encourages you to allow change to happen in your day-to-day -day life and very quickly can have you feeling better than you have in a while. This can also be very powerful cold turkey energy. So very quickly you may find yourself releasing a bad habit and feeling the benefits of that very quickly as well. But regardless, it is this energy in its higher sense that is asking you to realize that your day is sacred and how you live it can be an expression of love and self-love can be a spiritual process and a spiritual practice. It is this powerful lunar eclipse that is going to bring full circle larger lessons that have been there with you since 2018 when the south node first moved into this same part of the sky 
even though the nodes have now moved on, you are moving towards a greater appreciation, a depth of understanding as to how it is that you will use your days well and your journey, your exploration will be well rewarded. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.